In our previous video, we discussed a command by the name of GeoDist where we estimated the distance between different locations. Then we somehow used that command to find the nearest location to our base location or we used it to find the locations within certain radius of our base location. But we saw that that command was difficult to use to find the nearest location or location within certain radius because that specific command was not desi designed for this task. The command that we can use to find the nearest city is called GeoNear. And in this video, we are going to discuss that command. So first we need to load our data set. The data that we are going to use is distance data and you can download this from the link given in description. So there are three variables in this data. We have the city name and in this data we are using different cities from uh, US. We have their latitude and longitude. So our first city in this data is Dallas and its latitude and longitude, the New York city and its latitude and longitude. Then we have another data which is industrial data set. It also contains the name of the city, latitude and the longitude. But uh, we have hypothesized, we have assumed that these four cities are some kind of industrial cities or they are industrial hubs. But in these both files, you would have noticed that the name of the variables are different. So we do not want the same variable name. I have used a suffix one to differentiate it from our distance data set, but you can use any variable name. So let me reload the previous data. So what we want is we want to have a column uh, in front of each city where we want to input uh, a industrial city that is near to say Dallas. So out of those four industrial city, which one is nearest to Dallas and then which one is nearest to New York City and what is the distance between these, uh, these cities. So this is what we want to do. And the command that we will use is GeoNear. The syntax is the command name, then the base city, and the base city is the one that is uh, the, the variable, the city variable or the location variable that is in our master file or the file that is currently loaded in the system. Similarly, base latitude and base longitude is the one that is currently loaded in the system. So in this case, the distance data set is loaded in our Stata system, in Stata memory. So these, these are the variables that are there in distance data set. Then we use the word using and then the file name of the second file. Then we have an option which is mandatory to input which is neighbors and in parentheses we, we give the variable names where the latitude, longitude and the city ID of the uh, neighboring uh, locations are stored. And then we have a couple of options. So this is our first command. And in this command, we want to find the nearest city to all these cities. And I, what I mean is to find the nearest cities in the industrial data set uh, and put it in uh, a column in front of these cities. So first we write the uh, variables in our current data set, then the file name, then the word neighbor, option neighbor, and N can be used for short. Then the variable names that are used in the neighbor data set, the second data set. So when I run this command, now you would notice that the nearest industrial city to Afton is Iowa City and it is within 360 kilometer radius of uh, Afton. The nearest industrial city to uh, Agoda is uh, Boston. And similarly, the nearest industrial city to Alabama is Chicago. But you would notice when we scroll down that the Boston, uh, the distance between Boston with itself is zero and we do not want this. In previous video, we, we had to manually delete these kind of uh, values. But in this case, we have an option to, to delete these values. And the option to delete the self value is ignore self. Let me again load the data with a clear copy without any changes that we did in our previous command. And let me now rerun this command and you would notice that there is no zero value in this kilometer section. That, has, that means that any city that matched with the city in the second file uh, was deleted because that was the zero distance and they obviously would be nearest to each other. Now, whenever it would create a variable, it 
it would have a given name that is kilometer underscore two underscore an id and this cannot be changed this is the built-in name that is there in this command the way around is to use a brief uh, to use a, an option which is called gen stub and we use uh, uh, whatever the prefix uh, that we want to add so the, the similar command but in this case i have an additional uh, option which is gen sub and obviously in this case i want to estimate the miles rather than the kilometer distance so running this command would give us the uh, miles distance rather than the kilometer distance but now we would notice that there is a prefix added to this variable name which is ignore and that is that can be anything i just uh, had to input this variable name you can have any variable suffix let me give you another example and it you may have a better understanding of it so this time instead of using the distance uh, data uh, as our master data we are going to use the industrial data as our master data and what we want is to input whatever city is the nearest to boston and iowa city and houston and and that we just want this and the same previous command but now we have added a near count option so we want the first and the second nearest city so the first nearest city to boston is brooklyn it is within 2.4 kilometers and the second nearest city to boston is uh, summerville which is within 4 kilometers and what if we wanted this data to be in long format we just add the long uh, option so let me rerun this command and because the data had been distorted i have to re input the data so i am going to first clear the data and re import the data of industrial cities and run the command with long option so now you would see that um, they had been clearly formatted in long format but what if instead of the nearest two cities we wanted the cities within a specific kilometer radius or miles radius and that would depend if we we had a default kilometer option or if we input the miles option let me again clear the data and input the new data in this case we are going to use the within option and within the parenthesis we are going to write the number of uh, kilometers if we are we were using the miles option then the geo near command by itself would interpret that this 20 is not kilometers rather it is uh, the miles so by running this command we would have this data and it would show that these cities are within 20 km radius of boston these cities are within 20 km radius of chicago but with houston and iowa you would notice that uh, webster is in 39 km which is uh, greater than our limit so that is the issue with this command and we we have to uh, find a way around it so the option that we use is again the near count but now instead of uh, the exact near count option we uh, we are going to use a zero within the parenthesis and it would limit um, uh, it would exclude the base cities that didn't had any neighbor with, uh, within the specified distance so let me get the fresh copy of the data and use this option in addition to our within 20 km option by running this command you would now see see that the houston and iowa had disappeared and because they didn't had any near city within 20 km radius now what if instead of all these list we wanted the we wanted to limit them in for first two cities that are within 20 km so the command is the the option that we are going to use is limit and now we are going to limit uh, the number of nearest cities to 2 so again reimport the data and now you would see that we have just the two cities and you would also notice that the houston and iowa is also there and that is because we didn't mention the near zero option and if we had mentioned the near zero option then the houston and iowa would hand not been there so the default uh, option of geodist is to to use uh, ellipsoid option but the default of geonear is the opposite of it it uses sphere to calculate the distance so the formula is different so geodist and geonear uh, is not comparable you can uh, 
you can exercise on it yourself so if you want to use the option that is by default in the geodist command then you would have to input this option ellipsoid so now we have the kilometers with uh, different formula now what if uh, by again using the distance data we wanted uh, you know within these all these cities we wanted the nearest city to each of the city by by themselves so what is the nearest city to dallas within this list and what is the nearest city to new york within this list so we simply uh, instead of neighboring it with another file we neighbor it by itself so now we know that the nearest city to afton is this this one and the nearest city to alabama is this one and this is how we do it